Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord, night, wherever you're at in the country. Praise God, praise God. I'm going to try to give you a few moments to come on here. This live is talking about how the body of Christ is being tainted in this hour and on purpose by the enemy because he knows that persecution is coming to the body of Christ, coming to America. You see, we've seen persecution across seas we've seen persecution in third world countries but we have not really seen it here a few cases here and there but God told me to tell you that it's coming and that's why there's right now also is the great falling away if you can really understand what I'm saying and ask the Lord to show you it's a great falling away falling away from the morals of the church falling away from integrity Falling away from the, the people are waxing cold. They don't have love for each other, even in the church anymore. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The church act like the world. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about we don't have the love of God anymore. Hallelujah. We don't have the spirit of God. We don't have the wisdom of God. We don't have the discernment of God that should be in the church. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you're being tainted by the world, trying to make your own platform, trying to make some kind of scam. Come on, somebody. Pyramid. How many pyramids that you see in churches all the time? Hey, I got a quick rich scheme. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So the church is losing insight and the enemy wants that. The enemy have came and actually have infiltrated the church. That's what has happened. The enemy have came and infiltrated the church. And upon doing that, what has happened is that the leaders are not really preaching what thus said the Lord. They're preaching and teaching what God, what God said not to do. Just to be honest with you, they're doing all that. And, and a lot of you are wondering, well, what's going on? What's going on? I'm going to tell you what's going on because they're not, they, they have the Samson spirit come on somebody hallelujah samson kept playing with delilah and you have a church that keep playing with the enemy you have a church that keep playing with sin you have a church that keep playing with people and god is not pleased and you have to understand so it's the samson spirit that you're seeing what spirit i'm talking about samson kept playing with delilah until he didn't even know that god had left him oh come on somebody he didn't even know that god had left him he really thought that god was with him come on somebody and some of you you really think that you're doing god's work but just because it's a good idea and a great idea don't mean it's a God idea because most of you move so quick you don't wait for confirmation you don't wait for revelation you don't wait hallelujah and God told me to tell you that you better start waiting because it might be for your life this time I'm telling you what thus said the Lord you have to understand that we have to move in the spirit come on somebody by God's spirit you got leaders that's trying to conjure up things and they don't understand when you conjure up you're conjuring up demons because it's not of God if it's it's not God, then it has to be something else. Oh, come on, somebody. And I could never understand how when one message is for one church, how everybody grasp it. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to speak on this thing today. When David Prince came, oh, come on, somebody. I'm sorry. I keep saying David. It's Joseph Prince. When he came with the message of grace, everybody started talking about grace. Now everybody talking about glory. Oh, come on, somebody. Are you limiting God? How dare you? Come on, somebody. God is not going to just talk to one person. That's because you're not going before God. You're not communing with God. You're not spending time with God. You're not asking God, what do I want? What, what do you need, God? What do you want me to do? Come on, somebody. We have to go back to the oracles of God, asking God, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to say? Hallelujah. But it got to go back to obedience. The church is not obedient anymore. Oh, come on, somebody. You just have learned how to master and flow in the flesh. That's what have happened. No more spirit. Come on, somebody. All protocol. Y'all got protocol, but no altar call. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got season, but no reason. Oh, come on, somebody. The reasoning of is of man and not of God. God told me to tell you. Prepare for persecution. I know it looks like it's not coming. I know, I know. I, I've heard it all. Well, you said this and this, this. Let me tell you something. When God says something, wait on it. It might be a minute, but just wait on it. His word shall be established in the earth. As it is in heaven, it shall be on earth. And I'm here to tell you right now, you better get it together. Because I'm telling you, when you don't hear anything, that's when a lot is going on. It's too quiet. The spirit room is rumbling. Oh, come 
Come on, somebody. What do you know about the invisible war? Because there's a spiritual war going on 24-7. And if you don't understand it, because most of you don't walk in the spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And y'all quick to say, well, God know my heart. God might know your heart, but he also know your spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. The body has got selfish. The body has got lazy. The body don't want to labor. That's the secret right there. You don't want to labor anymore. But God told me to tell you it's time to labor again. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And as I always say, roll out, soldier.